what is going on guys and welcome back to Griffin Outdoors channel my name is Ty as always and today we're gonna be doing a cooking video we're gonna do fish sandwiches today from wild trout caught in the Gulf of Mexico out of Cedar Key that you saw in the last video but anyway so we only have three flavors my grandparents caught two fish you didn't see them on camera because they're on the other boat but my grandparents caught two fish and we only have three fillets, so I messed, so the cleaning was messed up on one of the fillets, it was just bad. So we just, it got thrown out. But anyway, so we have, we're going to be cooking fish sandwiches today. I'll flip you around. So today we've got hamburger buns as the bun. There it is, right there. Pepperidge Farm, sweet Hawaiian. Anyway, so we're going to be doing fried fish sandwiches. So we're going to make a tartar sauce with it, and we're, it's going to be good. And so yeah, it's gonna be good. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the cooking. Okay guys, so to prep, we are going to, hold on, I'm gonna open this. To prep, we have canola oil. I don't, this is not a lot of canola oil right here. So we're only gonna be, we have to do one. So we're just gonna pour all of this in. That's about as much as I already use anyway for this frying process. Maybe a little bit more. But let's see if we have any more. I'll see if I have any more and come back. Well guys, we don't have any more, so we're just going to make do with that. Alright, so let's start cooking. Okay guys, so as you see here, here are our ingredients. Get a nice panoramic shot. Okay, so first we're going to go in with salt. Got flour. We have ground black pepper. We have garlic salt. And a little bit of onion powder. So that's going to be our base. We have more flour in there if necessary. So I did check that. We have more flour if necessary. And yeah, so we are going to... I'm going to mix all this up. Oh, uh, first, we can't, yeah, first, I'm gonna mix all this up, and then we'll come back. Okay, guys, while I was mixing them, I did forget one thing. We do need to add Progresso. It doesn't matter what, but I'm using Progresso, breadcrumbs, Italian style. You can see them in there. And now we're gonna take one of our two forks we have. There it is. And we're gonna mix all these together. You can see, you want your flour to be, it's a, I've used random amount. I just eye it mainly. So you can use as much as each flavor as you like. Because I know everyone likes different stuff. Different um, amounts of like, oh crap, we just got all over my pants. That's not very good. We'll have to clean that up. But yeah, so we're just gonna, that's all mixed up. That's all mixed. Incorporated nicely. Yeah, I didn't get a little anything on that, so I just got a little bit on the floor there and on my foot and my pants. But anyway, so we, yeah, we spilled quite a bit. But anyway, so that's all mixed. I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll get started on the wet mixture. Okay guys, so as you see, we're just going to keep it really basic with our wet mixture. It's going to go two eggs and some milk. There's milk. Alright, so we're going to, I'm going to crack these eggs, bend the milk, and whisk them all up with this fork. And then we're going to get rocking and rolling. Alright, but first what we're going to do, get this rocking and rolling. And we're going to start heating up our oil. Alright, so we're going to put this to the double burner. I'm going to move that more. And we're going to put this on level four. I should do that pretty quick. All right, here's the sky nest. Here's my tripod that you'll be sitting in for the time lapses and stuff while we're cooking. And yeah, so it's gonna be good. And I will crack the wet mixture rolling, and we will be good. All right, bye. Okay, guys, as you see, here are our eggs and milk. We are, I broke the yolk on that one. It's fine. We're just gonna take this fork. Gonna break, eat up all these yolks. I'm gonna switch hands so it's easier for me. There we go. Okay. Just do this. There we go, that is fully uh, that's not mixed all the way. I'll get you a better view of what I'm doing. Sorry about that. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to put this fork, I'm not going to leave this fork in it. And we'll put this off to the side. Okay, and now we're going to get out our fish. So we're going to come into the fridge here. Get our fish. Here is our fish. Put that there. And now I'm going to cut the fish up, and we'll be right back. As you see, here's our chicken on our oil. I can feel a little bit of heat coming from it. Not that much, though. Yeah, it's starting to, you can see tiny little bubbles over there. Oh well, we're gonna start. Bye. Okay, guys, here's our fish. Here's our wet. Here's our dry. Here's the oil. And there's the tripod. So we're all set up, getting ready to go. This oil, we'll do the sizzle test on him. 
Get a little bit of water. Yeah, it's not even close to ready. It's not sizzling at all. The, the shh noise you heard was actually got some on the burner. But anyway, you can hear it popping. So you can hear it popping. Or I can hear it popping. But it's not, alas, it is not um, ready. So I'll come back to you when it is ready. All right, bye. Okay, guys, you guys are going up here. Hold on, I just need to adjust this for you. Uh, hold on. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put you up here in the sky nest, as I call it. Just, just literally tripod on the counter. Okay, so we're going to screw you in tight. There you go. Okay, so now, here we go. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to move everything this way so you have a better view. And it's closer to my oil. And uh, move the fish here. So what we're going to do, take our fish, fish piece right here. It's going to be a small sand because these trout are not very big fish. So we're going to put it in the flour. And then, we're going to put it, put it in the egg. And the flour. And the egg. Make sure to cover all sides. And then finally back in the flour. One last time. It's called double dredging. Do it that it's pulled. Then in the oil. Oh dang, I actually dropped a big clump of stuff in there. Let's just run away. I think we got the temperature right. I'm actually gonna get a wooden spoon. I'm gonna try and scoop some of this stuff out. Yeah, here it is. See, that's what I threw in. So let's sizzle in a while. Turn the heat up a little bit for this first one. And yeah, so that's gonna sizzle. Crackle and sizzle. And we have four pieces left. So we'll do two, next one will be two, and the final one will be two. So we'll have three batches coming out. And I can see it starting to brown up, which is nice. You want that crisp. Double dredging gives you that crispiness. I'm gonna put all of it on this plate. Okay, we're not gonna check it quite yet. I don't know if it's ready to flip quite yet. Hold on, we'll check. Oh yeah, we're ready. Oh yeah, we're ready to flip, guys. I just gotta get a hold on it. There we go, look at that. Beautiful crust on that fish. That is absolutely what we want to see. Turn the heat down just a little bit. But look at that. That is a beautiful crust. Now it's going to finish on the bottom. Bottom half. Trying to look for the, uh, look for the side and stuff to see when you think it's done. It's hard to get in a hold on this tongs, but I'm not going in there with my hands. I've seen people on YouTube do that, but that's a heck no from me. I don't want to get burned. See, I've heard stories of people like getting close and they'll be in their hands, get holes in them because they're burned. Nah, I don't want any part of that. We're going to stay quite safe and use the tongs. A little bit further on, longer on that side. We're almost done now. Hello. Okay, here we go. A little bit longer. Not quite done. We just want a little bit of a bigger crust on that. Now 
I have that perfect crunch. But look how crispy this is, guys. I don't know if you can see that. But I'll just pull it up to the camera when I take it off and just right now, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off. Look at this crust. Look at that. See that sizzle? Beautiful stuff. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get ready. Is we're gonna come over here. I spilt some over here. What the fuck's that? And we're gonna take our second piece. Like this, I'm just gonna go with my hands at this point. No point in using palms for this. Okay. Cover it in the liquid mixture. Yeah, never mind, we're gonna use palms. Crap, we're breaking it. Okay, into the dry. Take off, back into the wet. Back into the dry, and then we're gonna fry after this. Shake off the excess powder. Then up, into the dry. Then shake this off in the sink. Take a paper towel now. I'm gonna wipe off what we spilled a little bit on the counter. Very nice. Oh god, we have to do our second one. I forgot. How did I forget about that? Okay. Okay. Shake off excess. There we go, perfect. Oh, that needs to be flipped, the first one. The first one needs to be flipped, guys. Oh, crap. Perfect crust on that, look at that. Let's shake that off. This will be ready to take off soon. Oh, it's getting ready to, we're gonna move this over just a little, just a hair. Okay. Then I got two more fillets after this one. So we can make some good fish sandwiches, guys. Yeah, that one's not ready to take them off. And that one's not being ready to flip quite yet. That one's ready to flip. Come over here, just like that. Beautiful crust on that second piece. And this one might be ready to take off. Over here. Yep, it is. Shake off the excess oil. Pop that right down there. Now it's gonna be ready to take off soon, but right now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna crop these in the dredge. That's a pretty big piece right there. And it's a really small piece. That's a really pathetic looking piece. Okay, so now this is when we ready to take off. So we're gonna lift that up. No, not quite. A little bit more time. It's gonna be done. Yep, that is done. Shake off excess oil. Drop that on the plate. Okay, then we're just gonna quickly do these. Into the oil we go. Shake that off, shake all the excess. Into the oil, come on, into the oil. Crap, then you shake that off over there. 
That's all right. I know the oil's dirty. This is the last batch, so I don't really care. I would normally change the oil at this point. But since the oil's dirty, I don't really give a crap. Uh, I not since the oil, since it's the last batch, I don't really give a crap about it. This looks like it's gonna be. These thick pieces are really thin, so they should cook pretty quickly. Look at this. Look at these, this little plate of fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful crust. Look at this. Look at this the, what are the pests you call it? Where you slide a fork across it in a second. Okay, here we go. We still have to make our tartar sauce, though. We still have to make our tartar sauce, though, and, our, um, and, our, and finish our sandwiches. Okay, those aren't ready to be done. Alright, so I think this one, they're ready to be flipped, I think. Yeah, this is ready to be flipped. I'm gonna flip this one, got it. Looks a little bit. Oh, crap. They're, they're so thin that they're hard to grab. There's that. Beautiful crust on you. Just trying to flip you over is all I want to do. Beautiful. Beautiful crust. I don't know, it's oil cool. I'll go dump it in the woods because I remember I live on 80 acres, so I can do that. I can turn this oil off. Because uh, it's going to be done in about 20 seconds. Check this guy, let me flip him first. That guy's done. No, we'll leave him in a little longer, actually. Not that perfect golden brown like those others we had, just, just yet. Check it now. There we go, perfect. Just need a little bit longer. Look at that, perfect cross. Yeah, that guy definitely needs a little bit longer. Now we're gonna turn it right back off because this guy's done. Look at that guys. Very nice. Maybe a little bit overdone, but not on the back side. Look at that. Perfect pieces of fish. Yeah. Alright, this these tongs are in the sink. And I'm gonna dump the and I'm gonna clean up and I will see you later. And for the fish. For the sandwiches. Bye. Okay guys, now we're gonna make our tartar sauce. So we're gonna have, go in with some mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, relish, salt, a little bit of salt, and lemon juice. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna incorporate all those ingredients into that little bowl and then we're gonna get rock and rolling okay bye um, so here we are here's our fish here's our tartar sauce and here is our buns as you see we are going to put take our spoon put some tartar sauce on the bottom it's probably a little much but this is for me and I like this stuff so yeah put our tartar sauce on the bottom bun and then we're gonna put our big piece of fish right here on yeah, we're gonna put it on the tar the bun like that. Then we're gonna get some tar a more tartar sauce. I like tartar sauce, so I'm gonna do I wouldn't do this for everybody. If you don't really care, oh, if you don't really care for tartar sauce that much, I'm gonna put a little bit more on top. Maybe a little bit more. I, I love this tartar sauce. Right there. There's that. And now we're going to put our top bun on, and look at that. That is a beautiful fish sandwich right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we're going to move this into the middle. And now we're going to do the same thing, but only a little bit of tar uh, part of the sauce on the side for my brother. And I'll do that after the outro. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to do this outro and then take a bite after the outro just because I'm already filming. So, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video from Griffin Outdoors. See ya. 
Okay guys, here is the fish sandwich that we have created together over the past I don't know how long and we're going to take a bite. That is really good. That is one of the best fish sandwiches I've ever had. The probably because it's fresh, wild trout out of the Gulf of Mexico. Alright guys, see ya.